good so i'm here to do a pregnancy update for you guys this is my six month pregnancy update i was supposed to get this out to you guys yesterday after i got off of work but i was not feeling the greatest whatever i ate it was not agreeing with the baby so the minute that i logged out i just took a shower and went to sleep so i am here today on tuesday may 5th to bring you guys another pregnancy update um, King, unfortunately, was not able to join me because he is currently in our room sleep. So I am doing this pregnancy update by myself. Um, I have a few things that I want to share with you guys. So I'm going to try not to be too long um, on the video, but got a couple things I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Um, so let's just jump right now, into before it. Before I give you the update as far as what I've been um, feeling like and the cravings and all that good stuff, um, I'm going to share some things that we have upcoming. So that way, you guys, if you are following King on his social media from his sports page, um, you guys will be able to tune in on my page, which is Kenosha Thomas on Facebook. Um, I will be, uh, we will be recording the gender, we will be recording us revealing the gender live on Facebook. Um, the plan before all this pandemic stuff had happened, um, we were going to have like a little get together and do the gender reveal that way and just actually record the setting, um, of the gender reveal. But unfortunately, since we are here in Michigan, we are still under the stay at home order. We are going to reveal the gender on Facebook live and then King will be recording the actual, like the actual agenda reveal on his phone so that way we can upload it to our platform here on youtube so for those that's not able to log into facebook or don't have a facebook account you will either way you guys will know the gender of our little edition um that's going to take place on this upcoming saturday may 9th so make sure you guys stay you know tuned in and watch out for that uh, we will be, like I say, revealing the gender. A lot of people have asked King and also myself if we will be um, creating a baby registry, and we will. So we decided that we're going to go with Amazon, um, the baby registry that way. So that way, um, once, you know, I put out the link, which I will do that this upcoming Saturday, because by then y'all would know the gender. So I will post the link in our uh, description box here on YouTube so that you guys can go ahead and click on there um, and, you know, pick whatever y'all want from the registry or if you, you know, find something else that you want to, you know, get the baby, then of course, all gifts are welcome. So we definitely appreciate it because at first we was not going to do um, a registry, um, but so many people had asked and then even people that's not even, you know, um, on YouTube was asking us we should sell half one because they still wanted to do something nice. So that's what we're doing. We're going we're going to be uh, I already created the account for the baby registry or whatnot through Amazon. So again, I'll drop that link for y'all in the description box on this upcoming Saturday, May 9th. I am looking down because my memory has been on and off. So I want to make sure I get all those details out to y'all too. As far as our move we will still be moving um we've already got that set in stone we will not be staying here our lease is up we are now on a month a month so we will be moving here hopefully if i want to say by the end of june um we should officially be out of this house into our new home so we will make sure to bring you guys along with that the packing the new house tour you know and all of that good stuff so stay tuned for that that's going to be happening pretty soon because as king also stated we need the extra space for the little addition so that's going to be taking place too okay got that out the way so um as far as me let's get to the baby um and what's going on with this little one that's in my tummy so i haven't you know really gained any weight um as my last pregnancy update i want to say that was like my fifth month pregnancy update i had told y'all that i wasn't eating as much i didn't have really much of an appetite um, the baby and I just couldn't really find anything um, that the baby liked you know for me to tolerate except for like cucumbers and cranberry juice which is still my favorite two you know items at the moment so um, 
when I went to my doctor's appointment, I had only gained maybe three to four pounds since I had, you know, posted that fifth month pregnancy update. So my weight is still, I'm not gaining a lot of weight. Um, my face, however, you know, I always had like a, a full face and my neck, I've always had like a full neck. It's just something that I inherited from my dad. So that's never going to change no matter how much weight I lose. The face is always going to be full. Um, so I'm not really gaining the weight. Of course, I'm going to show you guys the baby bump and all that. So I'm going to show y'all. Um, however, I really didn't. I feel like something is on my face. Mm. I haven't gained, you know, no excessive weight. If anything, um, I am carrying like water weight because um, I drink a lot of water and I'm constantly on the go to the bathroom back and forth nonstop. Other than that, I'm not gaining like no weight weight. So, so far I'm okay with, the, with my weight as far as, you know, me being six months and how much I'm currently weighing at the moment. So, um not not too bad i've gained all together for this entire pregnancy even with me losing weight all together i've only gained 10 pounds so that's not bad in my book it's not because i was really big all stomach um but i was really big with baby amir as far as any swelling um i have not experienced any more swelling than i was before um at first i was experiencing swelling in my feet but i have not experienced any more swelling my hands are still the same size as y'all can see no no fatness there my wrist not big nothing none of that so currently could still fit my ring um so no issues there and i've already went over the cravings such as cranberry juice is my go-to as far as when i want something sweet and then cucumbers is for like a healthy snack um as far as like um cereal wise i am addicted to this cereal called cashy i think that's how you pronounce it it is a organic cereal um so i've been eating that and plus almond milk as you all know, as King had expressed in our previous, um, some vlogs ago, along with myself, I have, you know, I had stopped eating meat for like such a long time and I noticed it was, you know, beneficial for my health. So I've started back eating chicken, excuse me, not a excessive amount of chicken, but I have started back eating chicken because I needed that addition um, additional protein um, per my OB I was not getting as much protein even with me eating eggs and beans and stuff like that I still needed more protein so I have started back eating chicken but I'm not eating any red meat um, and then once after I have baby Thomas is what we're calling the baby as of today you guys will get the actual name probably um, not even on the gender reveal but the following vlog um, so once I have the baby, I will most likely go ahead and cut the chicken out. Um, I will be breastfeeding this baby as well. So um, as I did with baby Amir, I'm going to do the same with this baby. I'm going to be breastfeeding, so that's not going to change. Um, no, I don't have anything against, you know, like the formula and things like that to each, to each their own. But for me, I prefer you know, my baby nursing off of me. Um, so that's what I will be doing. And I will be nursing um, the baby as long, as far as I can go. With baby Amir, I nursed him all the way up to a year and a half. So however long I can nurse this baby, that's how long I'm a nurse. I'm not saying I'm gonna go three years and four years and five years old. No, sis ain't doing that. But I will nurse as, you know, as long as you know i can um nurse the baby now as far as my sleep is concerned <laughs> y'all i my sleep is like everywhere like i be sleepy all day no lie i can get 13 to 16 hours of sleep and sis be still sleepy like i i got up this morning at six o'clock logged in to, you know logged in um to work and I was like, at 10, by 10 o'clock, I was ready to take a nap. So, 
and I got sleep last night because I went to bed early from logging off of work because I wasn't feeling the greatest. So I'll be sleeping nonstop. Um, I hear a lot of people saying like, oh, you know, when you get to that second trimester, your energy. Yeah, I had lots of energy when I was pregnant with Amir, but this pregnancy, I have no form of energy, none. Like if I'm not forcing myself to do something, sis will be in the room, in the bed, watching TV and sleep. Like that's just what I do. I sleep. I can't help it. So my sleep. I'm getting sleep. I'm always sleepy. And even when I'm not trying to go to sleep, I just fall asleep, which is very annoying. Um, so that's what I have been experiencing um, is no energy whatsoever with this pregnancy. Even before the COVID came about, I didn't have any energy at all. And I just knew by my second trimester that I was going to be, you know, around here doing what i normally do no nah, sis been sitting on her ass because i can't this baby don't let me do nothing um my next upcoming doctor's appointment will be on april 13th i'm sorry not april we're in may may 13th is my next upcoming doctor's appointment just the the usual checking on the baby listen to the heartbeat stuff like that peeing the little cup um, to make sure I ain't got, you know, nothing going on with the, with my urine and stuff like that. So typical doctor's appointment. Um, a lot of people have asked me, has my doctor's appointment been kind of like not normal because of the COVID? Yes. So for these last couple appointments, King was not able to go with me, um, which was very disturbing to me because I always, you know, me and King do everything together, y'all. Like, that is my, my best friend. So, for me to have to go to the doctors, you know, by myself, not that I'm scared to, but just to have him there, you know, means a lot to me. So, be, because of this COVID, he's not able to go. Um, they have to ask me all these different questions before I can come in. I have to wait in my car. You know, if it's already some people in there, I got to wait in my car. And then they will come to the door, call my phone, and say you can come in. The doctor's ready to see you, and they immediately escorts me, escort you to your room. So that's been like I I get why they're doing it, but it's just like this is not normal to me, <laughs> um, and I don't like it. I'm just gonna be real. I don't like it. So not to be able to have my husband there with me um, is you know is is very annoying. You know I had the go to my ultrasound the last appointment i had to go to the ultrasound and get the gender by myself you know and it was just like he's been there for each for each kid so it's like for me to have to do this by myself was very annoying um that's probably going to be like this for a while until i deliver i don't know you know how it's going to look the due date is september 4th i don't know what's going to happen um with everything that's going on with the COVID, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys watch other people on YouTube. You know, if you know a lot of my um, my vets has been rocking with with me before we switched the channel over to a family channel. Um, I know probably you guys watch a lot of other channels that women, you know, is having babies during this time, and you know the experience that they had to go through with either not being able to have someone in the room with them and so forth. So. Me and King has been talking about um, speaking with my midwife to see if I can just do a home water birth. I, that is something that I'm going to be discussing when I go to this upcoming doctor's appointment to see if I can just be at home in the comfort of my own home and deliver the baby that way. Um, I've seen a lot of people do it i've heard that it's really really good and beneficial so that's something that i'm looking into now um now if you know if we're able to do that i do i do want king to record our you know delivery whether it's if he can be in the room with me at the hospital which i'm hoping that he is excuse me i want him to record the delivery like i did with amir Either way, um, of course, some things are going to be blocked out for privacy purposes, but I want to share that, you know, moment with you guys um, when we deliver this baby. So that's another thing that I'm looking to looking into regarding the home birth. 
um as far as any shopping i have not done any shopping i know i know i know normally i would be shopping up a storm because i always with all my kids once i found out the gender which is about four or five months i immediately take off and start shopping but because of the way that the world is you know set up right now i just i'm not able to unless i'm going online so with us in the process of moving hopefully you know come june we'll be able to just transition to the new home then i can go ahead and start ordering stuff offline um and then of course we'll have the registry if you guys want to contribute you know that that's going to help also so i know we're going to be okay i'm not worried faith over fear i'm not even worried because this is our fifth go around and the baby going to be good regardless so i just want to put that out there no i haven't started shopping as of yet um as far as anything else as far as anything i've been experiencing um no issues with my blood pressure praise yah for that because i did have blood pressure issues with amir so far with me being my six month um around four almost five months i started having blood pressure issues when i was pregnant with him and so far my blood pressure has been right where the doctor wants it to be so no issues there occasionally i still have my headaches um but that's occasionally i recognize the headaches as well um when they come on because i i can tell the same pain that i had when i was pregnant with amir so if that makes sense so other than that they're not like every day all day here and there i might get one especially if i eat something that probably had a little bit too much salt that's when the headache i mean immediately comes on um as far as everything else, I'm still taking my prenatal vitamins. I'm taking my vitamin C. I'm taking my elderberry so I can make sure that I'm staying as healthy as possible. So that's still, you know, that's still okay. I'm not having any issues with that. Um, still can't taste or smell. Um, gradually, I feel like it's coming, like my taste is trying to come back. Um pickles i can like taste that but nothing else so hopefully you know it will come back you know really really soon i'm not for sure um uh, <laughs> but it's been a minute so y'all just keep praying for me that my taste and my smell come back because if anything i really want to be able to smell like that's my only wish right now is to be able to smell so other than that that's pretty much um as far as with the pregnancy update, I, I'm i doing okay. You know, I'm staying out the way. I'm staying at home. I'm trying to, I'm still working. Praise y'all for that because I know some people are not able to work. Some people are waiting on unemployment or receiving unemployment. I am still able to log in five days out the week and work. So I'm very grateful and humble for that, for still having income. So I can make sure that bills and my kids are still able to eat. So other than that, I'll go ahead and show you guys. And this is little baby Amir is coming. So, and he doesn't have on any clothes. So I want to make sure that I go ahead and show you guys the bump. And then I'll go ahead and get this video edited. So this is the bump, as y'all can see. It's not too big. <laughs> but it's big turn this so y'all can see yep yeah it's, it's, it's big <laughs> my little bump so there you have it y'all so that's all that i have for y'all there go bubba right here want my attention so i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace love on your loved ones and cherish them while you still can. Talk to you later.